Hi, it's Dwyer. June the 5th, 2021. Gamblersadvisory.com, a free site. Bettingangle.us, a free site. <clears throat> Let's talk Floyd Mayweather, who may come in the ring as high as 160 pounds. Fighting Jake Paul, a guy who's going to come in the ring weighing 30 to 40 pounds more than Floyd. The fight's happening later today. Let's talk about it. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. <clears throat> now, first, let me say, I believe Mayweather is misunderstood. What I want people to do, those of you who think of Mayweather as smaller, as purely defensive, right? As a guy who doesn't sit down on his punches, who is just trying to win fights on the judges' scorecards. What I want people to do first is to look at Mayweather's career KO percentage, right? Might surprise some folks to know that a majority of Mayweather fights ended by stoppage. What I also want people to do is to pull up the film of Mayweather against a then unbeaten Diego Corrales. Folks, you're gonna see one of the best left hooks. And I'm not talking about a one-off, I'm talking about throughout the fight, as long as it lasted, from a boxer in recent memory, right? Mayweather had what I call a here trigger left hook. Here trigger, right? Very fast. Look at the fact that Corrales can't even get his hands up. In other words, that left hook had no tell on it, no tell whatsoever. And just look at how overwhelmed Corrales is. Understand how that fight ends. Corrales' father was in his unbeaten son's corner. The father had seen enough. Corrales' unbeaten streak ends with his own father throwing in the towel, right? When a fighter, whatever his style, it could be defensive in nature, but when a fighter has an A-plus punch that can knock someone out, I need to have people understand that a KO is a distinct possibility, even when that guy is fighting a bigger fighter. Now, I know in boxing there's an adage, there's a saying that old timers go by. And that saying is that a good big man beats a good little man. But what I want you to do is to say that phrase again and highlight the word good. A good big man beats a good little man. When they say good, they're talking about a championship level fighter. You're not a good big man when you're a YouTuber moonlighting in the sport. And when your big fight was a fight against KSI. Logan Paul is a big man. He's not a good big man. Understand, given Floyd Mayweather's left hook Right, Floyd also throws a mean straight right hand. But given the level of Mayweather's left hook, which forces an opponent to keep their right hand home, I don't know what Logan Paul is gonna be able to do to avoid being stopped in this fight. Now, let me just say, there is precedent for a more skilled smaller guy who's outweighed by dozens of pounds, putting a beating on an opponent. What I want people to do is to go back in history. We'll go back to 1897. According to reports, the great, and he was great, Bob Fitzsimmons, a fighter who Roy Jones has openly said he's trying to imitate Right, the great Bob Fitzsimmons weighed 165 pounds. You heard that right. 
165 pounds when he beat heavyweight champion gentleman Jim Corbett, the man who beat John L. Sullivan. Let me point out that Fitzsimmons did so by stoppage. Fitzsimmons was one of the hardest punchers in history, pound for pound. And he did it with his solar plexus punch, right? His equivalent of the Floyd Mayweather left hook. Now you've seen Mayweather in fights against world-class opposition, not amateurs, but world-class opposition. And of course, Floyd has taken a decision when he's overwhelmed, someone like Robert the Ghost Guerrero. By the way, that fight is a straight right hand fest, right? The Diego Corrales fight is a showcase on Mayweather's left hook. Understand, the Robert the Ghost Guerrero fight is a showcase of Mayweather's straight right hand. Just look at the film. Right, Mayweather is on a level where he's tailoring his attack based on his opponent's strengths and weaknesses. And understand, make no mistake about it, his left hook is A+. Plus. His straight right hand can also take you out. Right? So, in a sport where... Henry Armstrong jumped from the 126 pound title to fight 147 pound champion Barney Ross and of course beat him. In a sport where Boyd Jones skips the cruiserweight division, goes from light heavy to heavy and beats then heavyweight champ John Ruiz. I'm just telling you that casual sports fans don't realize that it's the skills that pay the bills, right? It's not the size of the man in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the man. Mayweather has stayed in shape. Mayweather's been fighting at the Mayweather gym against world-class fighters. Right? Mayweather isn't the old guy at the buffet table. Forget the image he's trying to cultivate of being the man about town, roaming around, living a retired life. No, this is the guy like Steve Cunningham. Right? The former cruiserweight champ who comes back and wins a heavyweight match when offered the fight at the last minute. Right? This happened recently. Mayweather's like Steve Cunningham. He's an athlete who needs to stay in shape. Right? There's some athletes who can't envision life out of shape. They're not the guy getting that second dessert. They're not the guy not counting calories in retirement. Right? Understand, Mayweather is cut from a different cloth. This is a guy who's still in the gym, who's still involved in boxing, who's still sparring, whose weight is still low. There's no pot belly ever on Floyd Mayweather. So you're going to tell me that Mayweather, a defensive technician with an A-plus left hook, in a comeback fight against Logan Paul, who's been talking all kind of smack, is going to let this guy go the distance. Folks, he didn't let Conor McGregor go the distance. Understand, Logan Paul can do what he wants. He can't hurt what he can't hit. Tell me the Logan Paul punch that is on par with the Mayweather left hook. Folks, doesn't exist. Let me also say too, I thought Mayweather came out in the Conor McGregor fight determined to give the fans several rounds of boxing. The Mayweather in the first four rounds of the Conor McGregor fight 
in my opinion, was playing down to Conor McGregor. He understood that he needed to make the fight look more competitive than it, he, than it was. Right? So you had Mayweather out there sticking his head down, allowing Conor McGregor to hit him. Fans loved it. The fight actually looked competitive for a while. I believe this fight's going to be more like Mayweather against Arturo Gatti. And what I want people to do is to realize that Arturo Gatti, unlike Logan Paul, is in the Hall of Fame. Right, folks? The Mayweather-Gotti fight is a massacre. I'm not sure if I've seen a Hall of Famer deconstructed like that in the ring. Now, we could debate whether or not Arturo Gotti deserved to be in the Hall of Fame. But understand he's there. Understand Arturo Gotti was blood and guts. He gave his all in the ring. He wasn't there to get beaten up. In the Mayweather fight, he gets beaten up. Understand what a great left hook does. Again, it forces even a blood and guts type guy like Arturo Gatti to be hesitant to throw the right hand, right? Gotti's right hand lined up against Mayweather's left hook. Understand, Gotti couldn't dive in the pocket like he did against Mickey Ward for several fights. Now, this Arturo Gotti found himself on the defensive, getting deconstructed before getting stopped. I believe that's what's going to happen to Logan Paul. I believe Mayweather wants to make a statement. I don't believe Logan Paul goes the distance. Again, Conor McGregor did not go the distance. That's how I see it. The odds on Mayweather, it's unbettable if you're just going to bet them straight up. The bet I'd prefer is to take a swing at higher odds by taking Mayweather by stoppage. That's how I see it. Logan Paul only has a puncher's chance. You have to ask yourself, who has landed flush on Floyd Mayweather that you know of? Right? I'll concede. Shane Mosley did. Who else? Understand, Mayweather officially is 50-0. Right? Think about that. Think about that. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Let me also add, too, that don't sleep on punching power and don't get too fooled by weight. Let's remember, middleweight champion Stanley Ketchell famously landed on Jack Johnson, who ended up on the canvas. You could be outweighed by dozens of pounds and still be the puncher in the fight. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I look forward to your comments. Thanks for stopping by.